everyone, my name is Britt and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very special sponsored video. Duval was nice enough to send me two amazing styling tools for me to make this video for you today. And this video is going to be our flat iron versus our curling wand and which gives us which curls. Leave a comment down below letting me know which one you think uh, did which side of the hair. I'm really excited about this video today because I have been curling my hair for years and when Duval reached out to me I was so excited to use their products because every girl deserves some top of the line really awesome styling tools to make your hair fabulous. So let's get on into the video so I can show you guys what I did. So the way we're going to do this is by breaking it down by doing this half of my head with the flat iron and this half of my head with the curling wand. Like I said before, this video is sponsored by Duval, so I'm going to be using their amazing products. I've been using them for a couple of weeks now and they're the best. This flat iron is the Professional Impulse flat iron. It's got the infrared technology and the ceramic plating and it has probably my favorite part, the different temperatures that you can select. So I'm using 320 degrees Fahrenheit so that I get enough heat to curl my hair, but not enough to do more damage than needs to be done. Another thing that I really like about this is the smooth matte finishing. It feels very nice, very nice. Ow, that was a little hot. <laughs> I have been curling my hair with flat irons for years. I was really bad at using regular curling irons, so when I found out that this was a possibility, this was like an instant lifesaver, and I could use one tool. So I highly recommend giving flat ironing curls a try if you have not. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys how I curl my hair with the flat iron. I'm going to do this really simple. I'm going to do like looser waves. This way it doesn't take quite as long and just kind of see exactly how I do. So just take a few strands, wrap it around. It glides so smooth. Look at that. Beautiful. Now there are variations of course on how you can do this. You can do tighter curls. You can do bigger chunks to get looser waves and just kind of a wave versus a curl. You can also go opposite directions. I tend to go just one direction. Baby, you light up my world. But I'll show you here. It's not very hard to go back and forth. Ta-da! And the longer you hold the curl, the more like spirally it's gonna get. So I usually go a little bit faster so that it doesn't get too tight. I like looser more like textured waves instead of uh, super tight curls. So you just saw that everything sped up, but that is as quick as it took me. That was like a couple of minutes. It's really quick. Obviously I have a little bit shorter hair, so it takes me a little less time if you have really long hair, but that's it. I've got these awesome, loose, pretty waves already. I haven't even done anything, no hairspray. I didn't put anything like volumizing in my hair. It's just done. So now I'm going to switch over and turn on my curling wand and we're gonna do this half and see how easy it is compared to the flat iron side. So for the left hand side, we're switching to the Duval curling wand. This one is the 32 millimeter barrel. They do have a couple different sizes available. They sent me this one because they said it was their most popular and most used, so can't really Really argue with that. It's got a nice little on off switch. This one doesn't have the temperature control, but it does have a swivelly thing down here. And it did come with a glove, which I absolutely need because I am still new to this. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna put the glove on. Ooh. Now you can still feel the heat through the glove, but it keeps you safe, so that's good. And like I said, I'm still new at this. I've been practicing, but I'm still not super great, so this is kind of also a, a beginner's look at doing this for your curls, so you can also judge if it's easier for you to switch to this or stick with the flat iron. I think this is hot enough. Feels hot enough, let's get going. So for this, I also just take it and curl it away from my face and just hold it there for a second and 
So that gives you a really loose wave. We're gonna hold it a little longer and see if we can get a little bit of a tighter wave. Ooh, so that's really pretty. We've got a really nice curl right there and it looks really similar to the flat iron side. The good thing about this is because the barrel is round, unlike with the flat iron, you're gonna get perfectly round curls each time. Whereas with the flat iron, if you do it wrong, you could get it to be a little kinked up and some flat spots. I'm just gonna go through the rest of it. As you can see, this is pretty simple to use. And I like this a lot better than a curling iron because you don't have to worry about that little clampy thing, you know? The clampy thing that comes off of it and screws up your perfect curl. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. I know there's probably some straight pieces back here. I usually have another mirror when I do this, but I think for the sake of this, it's looking pretty good. So as you can see, with this particular wand and how I did it, the curls are more looser and beachier, you could say. Whereas with this side, I could control it just a little bit more. I could do tighter curls. I just feel like overall, I personally like the flat iron curls, but this is really pretty. And I think if I had longer hair too, or if I had a smaller barrel to complement it so that I could like do more curls up here and do tinier pieces, I think that would be beautiful. Duval does have a three-in-one wand on their site for sale, which is a perfect option for what I just said, where I could go in and like do more precise little curls. But overall, it does essentially the same thing. They're beautiful. <laughs> I haven't done any brushing or anything to them, so let's give them a spray. I'm going to brush them out because I like more looser waves versus tight curls, and then we'll be ready. So here is our final side-by-side -side look. The left side we use the curling wand, and the right side we use the flat iron. Now that I'm looking at them side by side, I feel like the flattening iron gives you more of like a textured look, like more PC overall, whereas this is more smooth and pretty. They're both pretty, but you know what I mean? Now that I put some hairspray and styled it a little bit, I really do like both sides quite a lot. So looking at this, leave a comment down below letting me know if you like the left side better or the right side, and which side you think you would have more fun styling for yourself. Again, this video was sponsored I do vols. So if you're interested in either of the products that I used here, you can find all the links in the description below. There's also a special coupon code that you can save quite a bit of money on getting one of these styling tools for yourself. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every once in a while. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!